I often say that if you're struggling with a skill, you might not have the right technique or you might not have the right tool. So today, Haley and I are going to be sharing our top favorite cheap sewing tools. And the best part is that all of these tools are under $10. First up, we have the bias tape maker. A bias tape maker is a special tool that helps you to fold your bias tape. You use it in conjunction with your iron to get those nice, crisp, even folds on any bias tape that you may be making. It comes in a variety of different widths. And if you're someone who really struggles with making bias tape or sewing bias tape, this handy dandy tool might help you out of a jam. Next up is a seam gauge. So a seam gauge is a little tool that will allow you to measure very short distances. So it's great for measuring seam allowance or any other, like a hem, any other small distance like that. And it has this cool little sliding thing that you can use to really get precise about where your seam ends. And the reason I like a seam gauge is it just makes it a lot easier to measure small spaces. It's a lot easier than using a measuring tape or even a ruler. Next, we have a Clover pencil. And Clover is a brand of sewing notion and they actually have probably a lot of different kinds of pencils. The one that I like is the water soluble pencil. The reason I like this is because when you're sewing, a lot of times you're going to want to mark on the right side of your fabric and you don't want that mark to be permanent. You want it to go away. And a water soluble marking tool like the Clover one is going to wash away once you are done utilizing that mark. So in cases like buttonholes, um, sometimes pleats, there's various occasions, uh, pocket placement where you would want to mark on the right side. And in those cases, this guy, it'll be your best friend. Next up are some large washers. So washers are something that you can get at any hardware store um, and these can be used as pattern weights. So instead of spending money on things that are actually designed to be pattern weights, these work really, really well. They're nice and flat. They're easy to move around. They don't get in your way and they're very, very cheap. So you can buy a lot of them and have them on hand and never run out. Next up, we have glass head pins. So glass head pins are a variety of pins that have the little heads on them are made out of glass instead of plastic. You might be wondering why you need your pins to have glass heads, and that's for a couple reasons. With glass head pins, you can actually press over your pins so you can pin a hem into place and then press directly over it. Same with pleats, pin your pleats, press right over it, which is really handy. The other benefit of using glass head pins is that if you're sewing something with a lining or some kind of enclosed aspect and you accidentally leave a pin inside, um, I've done this before, all you have to do is take a hammer or a mallet and you break the glass head of the pin and then the pin slides out really easily. Next up are wonder clips. So wonder clips are these tiny little clips. They look like almost like small plastic clothes pins and you can use these in place of pins to hold a seam together or to hold a hem. Uh, anywhere you would use pins, you can pretty much use a wonder clip. And the reason that you'd use a wonder clip is perhaps your seam is really bulky and you can't really get a pin through or it's not holding it very well, or maybe it's uh, a fabric that's gonna leave a mark if you put a pin through it, like if you're sewing leather or vinyl or something like that and you don't wanna put a pin in it, you can use a wonder clip. Next up, we have a flexible clear ruler. The reason that this is a superior ruler is for a few reasons. So first of all, it's flexible. You can measure around curves relatively easily. The other reason I like it is because it has a grid on it. So this is a little eighth inch grid. So it makes it really easy to add seam allowance and to measure in two separate dimensions. So if you're adding the buttonhole placement on something, this will allow you to measure from the front of your garment and also down in the Y axis, which is so vital when you are sewing. Next up is a press cloth. So a press cloth is basically just a piece of fabric that you put between your iron and the fabric that you're ironing or pressing. So a press cloth can be made out of a lot of different fabrics. You can have all kinds of fabrics that you can cut up and make press cloths out of. Um, this one is just some plain muslin fabric, which is a good choice for most press cloths. 
And one of the functions of a press cloth is just to protect your fabric from your iron. So if you've ever gotten those shiny spots on your fabric from a too hot iron, a press cloth can protect against that. You can also put it between the seam and uh, your fabric so that when you press a seam, it doesn't leave as much of an imprint on the other side. So that's another really good use of a press cloth. Um, it's re just really helpful for protecting your garment overall. And the last item on our list is a point turner. So you can see here that I have two kind of takes on a point turner. I have a bamboo point turner, I have a plastic point turner. Both serve the same purpose and that purpose is to turn out any corners on your project. So be that on a waistband or a collar, sometimes you're gonna have to take a corner and you're gonna have to turn it right side out. And this little pointy tool helps you to push those corners out really nicely. The other reason I love a point turner is you can use it to do finger pressing. So finger pressing is when you are using your fingers to just kind of pre-press your fabric, a seam, before you take an iron to it. And I find that using the blunt end of a point turner is way more effective than using your fingertips to finger press a seam. So if you're still building your own sewing toolkit and you need a little more guidance, you can check out a free download we have called Sewing Supplies, A Beginner's Guide, and it's totally free. We'll link to that down below. All right, now it's your turn. Did we miss any sewing tools that you love that are under $10? Let us know in the comments below and that'll do it for us this week. We'll see you next week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I can't show the bias tape maker because that was yours. I have to. I am the official bias tape maker person. You might be wondering, why do I need my pins? I dropped a pin. <laughs> Whoa! You what? <laughs> We're blowing minds. Blowing my mind. I don't even want to see any other kind of ruler. This is my favorite. Put it away from me. Put it away from me. I don't want none of that. I don't know what came over me. I just felt like that was the best way to emphasize my obsession with clear rulers. So a press. <laughs> Both say. And I find that using the blunt ed, ed. <laughs>